Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I have had a lot of questions recently about how to put the number stickers on your tongue drum um, for drums that have come without number stickers. Um, and that's actually pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through that. Um, it's really easy if you have a drum that is in the key of C major. Um, and chances are 90%. <laughs> um, if you got this drum off of Amazon or from a Chinese seller, then it's almost certainly going to be in the key of C. Um, if you do have a really fancy drum that was made by like an independent uh, manufacturer, then you might want to reach out to the artist and ask them what key their drum is in because that's going to be a whole nother can of worms. <laughs> So we're just going to focus on C major. Um, so our first order of business is to make totally sure that our drum is actually in the key of C major. Um, it sounds intimidating, but it's really not that hard. So um, I have a tuning app. Um, this is called Pano Tuner, and I will go ahead and put a link to that in the description below. Um, it's a free app. It's super easy to use, and it basically just looks like this. Um, so you can see what note is playing at the moment. Um, so we're gonna take our mallet. This is easiest to do with a mallet. And um, if you just hit your note, see it kind of jumps to show you what that note is. So that's a G. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is play all the notes on your tongue drum. And as long as none of them have a sharp sign, which looks like a number symbol, or a flat sign, which looks like a lowercase b, um, then you're in C major, <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> um, so once you find out you're in C major, the next thing you need to do is find your C. Um, and there's gonna be, depending on how many notes you have on your drum, there's gonna be more than one C. So um, we're gonna start over here. Okay, that's not a C, not a C. There we go, there's our C. Um, and so since we're in C major, we're gonna put the number one on the C. <laughs> um, now, since we have lots and lots of notes on this drum, we know there's gonna be more than one C. So we go to the next note, also a C. Um, so we're gonna put another number one on that one as well, because that's another C. And then it just follows in super easy order. Um, next you find uh, which one your D is, and D gets number two. <laughs> and then you keep going around and you find your E, and E gets number three. And it just goes that way in alphabetical order until you get to G, which is number five. Um, and a lot of these drums might have two or even three different Gs on them because they have quite a few octaves, which is fun. <laughs> um, so you've gotten to your number five, you have a G, but here's the funny thing about music. Uh, we only do the notes A through G. So there is no um, H note or I note. <laughs> it ends at G. So at G, we start over. So your number six is going to be an A. So find your A note and put your sixes on there. Um, then your B note that you find with your tuner is going to be a number seven. <laughs> so it really is that easy. That's all you have to do to put the numbers in the right place on your tongue drum. Um, download that tuner on your app, play your notes, and figure out which ones are which. <laughs> um, now there are going to be a couple of exceptions. If you have a really small tongue drum, um, sometimes those are in a pentatonic key, uh, which means they will have no fours and no sevens. Um, but as long as you follow the basic idea of C equals 1, D equals 2, um, you'll always be able to find out which notes go where. Um, another thing that is fun about some of the stickers is sometimes you'll get stickers where there's a little dot on the bottom of the number or a little dot on the top of the number. Um, and the idea of that is to tell you which notes are lower than usual so say if I have marked this one with a five, then this one, which is also a G, so also a five note, um, but it's definitely lower, you can hear that. It's got a little dot underneath of it, so you can tell it's a low five. <laughs> 
And the same applies for higher ones. Um, sometimes, let's see, yes, here's one. Um, so here's my regular three. It's my E. And then right here, I have a higher E, so it has a little dot on top of the three. <laughs> um, so that's how you can do it if you have dots on your numbers. Um, I do find those sort of helpful, but they're not gonna make a big impact because the way that tongue drums work is um, your notes that are lower are always gonna be bigger. So if you have a really low, a really big five and a really small five, then you're gonna know which one is higher. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> now, the way to tell that you've done it right is if you play um, a C major scale. So you're gonna go from your lower one all the way up to seven and then play your higher number one. Um, and if that sounds like this, <laughs> then you've done it right. Uh, so let me play a C major scale for you. So if it sounds like that, then you are totally golden. <laughs> um, if it doesn't sound like that, um, try again. Um, but you might have a different scale or a strange scale. Um, and if you do have one, just post below in the comments and I will try and help you figure out which scale your drum is in and how you can put the numbers on there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out my other videos about tongue drums if you have questions. Um, I cover a lot of beginner topics, so hopefully I can be helpful to some of you out there. <laughs> I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my channel. Look right up there and click the subscription button if you would like to see more of my content. And I will see you next time. Thank you.